Japan, that power player from the East, is known for its historical knack for winning. Their track record spans a spectrum of wars, from family feuds and civil disputes to all-out global conflicts. Across the board, Japan's been a big hitter in the Asian scene. Rather than being under someone else's thumb during the age of colonization, they flipped the script and became a colonizer. You bet the Japanese military has earned a shout-out in the world's history of warfare. Here's the lowdown. What's fascinating about Japan is the fact that their rulers weren't just politicians but bona fide warriors. Like China, they had a caste system. Picture the society back in the Middle Ages as a kind of pyramid. At the top of the pile, you had the emperor, the big cheese. Just below him were the palace nobles. These folks were all part of the aristocratic clique. Next up were the shoguns, aka the commanders-in-chief of the army. They weren't just leading the troops, they were also running the country politically and economically. Below them, you had the daimyo, samurai, who owned a good chunk of real estate. Underneath them were the foot soldier samurai, who were part of the daimyo's crew. Then you had the ronin, samurai, who were freelancers, often becoming hired muscle. These guys all fit into the warrior class. Then you got to the common folk, farmers, artisans, and traders. Sure, the emperor was the head honcho in theory, but in practice, the ones calling the shots were the military bigwigs. Even the upper crust had to tip their hats to the military, which was getting bigger and bolder. Unemployed folks from the lower class often turned into ronin, the samurai without a boss. They'd sometimes rob the rich and famous. Fast forward to modern times, and Japan kept flexing its military muscle. It was becoming a conqueror without discrimination. Unlike many other nations, European occupation never had a hold on Japan. It dodged the colonization bullet and instead ended up being one of the conquerors. The samurai ethos is deeply ingrained in the culture and is often portrayed in various forms of art, turning them into iconic figures. Their descendants still embody this warrior spirit. One of their mantras? Surrender isn't in their vocabulary. That's why we often hear stories about Japanese soldiers from defeated armies who would rather hide out for years than wave the white flag. Remember the Pearl Harbor attack? That was Japan taking a swing at the big guy, the U.S. This surprise strike in 1941, with 300 warplanes lighting up the U.S. naval fleet, was a major trigger for World War II. Then you got the kamikazes, those daredevil pilots ready to go down in flames, ramming their planes into Allied ships. That is, until the big finale, the U.S. dropping the A-bomb on Nagasaki, marking the end of Japan's reign of terror and World War II. It pushed Japan into unconditional surrender and resulted in them getting a timeout from having a war fleet. After that, Japan rebranded its military forces as the Jeitai, or the Japan Self-Defense Force in English. Some military experts think Japan's playing a game of kabuki. That's a traditional Japanese theater art where actors dress up in lavish costumes, dance, and sing satirical songs with a biting message. The basic idea? Japan's military is hiding in plain sight with the defense tag. Despite this, Japan hasn't been slacking off. They've been quietly bulking up their troops and arsenal. In fact, global firepower ranks Japan as the eighth strongest military in the world and sixth in Asia. There's been talk that Japan's shopping for offensive, not defensive, weapons. Japan's Prime Minister Kishida even announced plans to beef up their defenses in light of growing threats, like those Chinese spy balloons that have been floating over Japan since 2019. Kishida's even trying to sway parliament to tweak the constitution, letting Japan take the offensive. Does this mean Japan's gearing up for war again? We'll have to wait and see. But if they are, the other countries better keep their eyes peeled. Remember though, not all Japanese folks are war hawks. Some Japanese anime takes a strong anti-war stance like Hotaru no Haka and Hadashi no Jin, both of which shed light on the horrors of war. It's always a tug of war between what the government wants and what the people want. The Japanese government has earmarked a whopping 43 trillion yen for military spending, 
so they can pretty much arm themselves to the teeth whenever they want. And let me tell you, the GA tie is no pushover. Want more details about each force? Let's talk about the Japanese Army, currently ranked as the 23rd most formidable on the globe. We're looking at a force of 150,000 active duty soldiers, 1,000 tanks, 99 rocket launchers, 23 self-propelled artillery, 480 towed artillery, and over 100,000 utility vehicles. Japan has a knack for producing fearless, unyielding, and unique warriors. Guys like Shoichi Yokoi and Hiru Onoda, who embodied the belief that surrender is the worst thing a soldier can do. Even after the US put a dent in Japan during Wotu, these guys hunkered down and didn't come out for decades, insisting they didn't know the war was over. And don't forget the Kempatai, a special ops unit deployed in territories under Japan's control. On the surface, the Japanese Navy ranks 20th worldwide. But when it comes to actual combat, Japan is a force to be reckoned with. Take their helicopter escort ships, for instance. They're basically aircraft carriers under a different name. They've got more than one of these bad boys, Kaga and Izumo, to be precise. Back in the day, there was also the Hosho, which fired the first shots of naval warfare with China in 1937. And let's not forget their five aircraft carriers during the Pacific War. Akagi, Soryu, Hiryu, Shokaku, and Zuikaku. As it stands, the Japanese naval fleet includes 36 destroyers, 4 frigates, 6 corvettes, 21 submarines, 6 patrol vessels, 4 stealth aircraft carriers loaded with 346 aircraft, and a crew of 50,800 sailors. The kamikaze pilots I mentioned before epitomize the Japanese spirit. Dying for honor is seen as the ultimate act of courage. During 1-2, these daredevil pilots crashed their planes into US ships, just like their counterparts on the ground who'd rather starve in hiding than be captured by the enemy. Today, the Japanese Air Force is considered the sixth most powerful in the world. It boasts 217 fighter jets, 27 attack aircraft, 58 transport planes, 425 training aircraft, 566 helicopters, and 150 special mission planes. Alongside the UK and Italy, Japan's developing a top-secret 6 Theth Gen fighter jet. Their active duty roster includes nearly 50,000 personnel and the 1st Airborne Brigade, a special parachute unit trained to operate on land, sea, and air. But what about the rest of the world? Are they ready for this tiger descending the mountain? For more info on the military might of other nations, check out our other videos. Stay cool and stay notified.